Hello everyone, welcome to Math, Physics, and Engineering with COIL. Today, we're going to be discussing vectors and the unit vector. Number A, is I plus J plus K a unit vector? Well, first, let's discuss what a unit vector really is. Well, a unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude equal to 1. That means that the length of, let's say, this A vector is 1. So let's check that here. We know that using Pythagorean's theorem, that the magnitude, noted here with the absolute value sign, the magnitude of vector a is equal to x squared plus y squared plus c squared. Now, looking back over here, where I've defined any vector as xi plus yj plus zk, and let's look back at a. The vector that we have, what are those coefficients? What is x? What is y? What is z? Well, there's an imaginary 1 floating in between all of these. 1, 1, 1. So that means in this equation, we're going to be plugging in 1 for x, 1 for y, and 1 for z. So that gives us magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, which equals the square root of 3. Now they're asking, is this a unit vector? What do you think? Does this have a magnitude of 1? No, it has a magnitude of neg of root 3. So therefore, not unit vector. Boom. Move on to the next one. So this next one is going to be a 2D example. Well, this one, this was a 3D. This one's going to be a 2D. And this one I think is going to be a little bit easier to see. So another way that we can write this vector, 3i hat minus 2j hat is like this. Here, in the x direction, we have our i vector. Sometimes I like to draw these, where x is i hat, y is j hat, z is k hat. You can think about it like that, too. But anyway, so here, in the x direction, or the i hat direction, we have a magnitude in that direction of 3. So this has a magnitude of 3, just this horizontal x part. And downwards, because of that negative sign before the 2, downwards in the y direction or in the j direction, we have a magnitude of 2. So that's what I'll note here. Now, because these are vectors, we can take this whole vector right here and connect it from the head of our 3 vector to the tail of our 2 vector. And then, it becomes much more apparent what we're working with. Using that line, we know that this is a right angle, so this has to be the magnitude of p vector. This is exactly where Pythagorean's theorem comes into play. So we know that the magnitude of the b vector, because of Pythagorean's theorem, is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Well, you ask yourself, what's x, what's y? Let's look back up here. x is equal to 3.0, and y is equal to negative 2.0. The negative just means that's the direction. It's in the negative direction, so that's why we accounted it downwards right there. If it would have been positive, it would have been up. So now, let's see if this is a unit vector. We have the magnitude of the b vector is equal to the square root of 3.0 squared plus negative 2.0 squared, which is equal to the square root of 13. Now you're asking yourself, is this a unit vector? Well, remember, 
A unit vector has a magnitude of 1. Does this have a magnitude of 1? I think no. Magnitude of 1 would look like this. Therefore, not unit vector. Okay? And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you on it. Thanks for watching.